Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I'll show you a game between Kasparov and Schultz. This game was played in Germany in 2011. Kasparov had white pieces and he started with e4. Black to move. Knight to c6. Nincovic defense. Maybe. Knight to f3. And now, f5. Something you don't see every day, do you? Is this a sound opening? Pawn takes pawn on f5. Sometimes white plays e5. In our game we have pawn takes pawn on f5, d5, d4. Bishop takes pawn on f5. Black has a potentially weak backward pawn on e file. How bad is that? Bishop to b5, pinning the knight, e6, knight to e5, the pressure is on the knight on c6, knight to e7, white to move. What is the best move for white in this position? Kasparov played queen to h5. Check. Perhaps bishop to g5, pinning the knight, would be a better move. Queen to h5 was played. Check. g6, queen to e2, bishop to g7, bishop to g5 now, pinning the knight, and Schulz castle, king's side. Bishop takes knight on c6. Black to move. The two options to capture the bishop. One is pawn takes bishop, another is knight takes bishop. But that one is out of question because the knight is pinned. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? I guess many people would just capture with the pawn without much thinking. Do you agree? There was a surprise of epic proportions. Knight takes bishop on c6. Kasparov happily captured the queen. There is no checkmate coming to white king, is there? So what is going on? Did black blunder? What do you think? Well, Schultz made a positional queen sacrifice. The game continued. Not rook takes bishop, but knight takes on d4, attacking the queen. Queen to d2. Knight takes pawn on c2, check. Next could be knight takes rook. Definitely, maybe. King to e2. And now, bishop takes knight on e5. Knight to c3. Rook takes bishop. Rook from a takes on d8. Rook from a to c1. How to save the knight? For a sacrificed queen, black has two pawns and two bishops, plus an attack going. Is that enough compensation for a queen or not? The game continued. Schulz didn't move his knight. He played d4. Knight to d1. Bishop to e4. Queen to g5. Well, what else? If rook takes on c2, then d3. Check. And black is winning. If king to f1. Defending the pawn on g2, then bishop to f4 is very unpleasant. So Kasparov played queen to g5. d3, check. King to f1. d2, attacking the rook. Rook to b1. Black. Play the move when white resigned. The move is bishop. 
to f4, attacking the queen. Kasparov was frustrated. He resigned. Let's play a few more moves. If queen goes to somewhere like g4, knight to d4, discovered attack on the rook, not to say rook to a1, bishop to f5, attacking the queen, daring white to capture the bishop on f4. I guess we can stop here. Kasparov definitely had enough. And let's go back to this very interesting moment of the game. This is the position when Schultz made an epic positional queen sacrifice. What do you think of this game? And just a side note, the full name of the player with white pieces is Sergei Kasparov. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.